I'm Anna Swain and I work for Ancestry.com with the Ancestry DNA team. And we just wanted to give a quick shout out to Matt who recently posted a video of him experiencing for the first time his Ancestry DNA results. So thank you Matt for posting that video and sharing with us and everybody else your first hand reaction to your Ancestry DNA results and specifically the ethnicity estimates. You went on there and you were a little bit surprised about um, how much of a certain group you were versus another group. In fact, you said you had heard, you know, most of your life African, maybe some, some Spanish. And so to, to see your firsthand response after telling us what you anticipated was a lot of fun for us here at Ancestry.com and, and for the experience that you shared with us. So you had some questions on your video about maybe some of the regions, what they meant, and as you started to learn more and more about, uh, you know, go through your DNA results, you started to have even more questions, which was kind of fun for us to watch because it's true. As we learn more about ourselves, uh, more questions arise and we are on to more, uh, more and more discoveries. And so thank you, Matt, for sharing that with us. And to answer some of your questions about uh, your specific ethnicity estimates, um, we just wanted to review really quick. So this DNA that you had tested, the Ancestry DNA test, um, you've inherited DNA from your two parents, your four grandparents, your eight great grandparents, and so forth. And so those individuals have contributed to your unique DNA today. Your parents have 100% uh, of their DNA, but they can only pass down 50% to you. So your results are unique to you. And that's what's so exciting about this test. It's very specific and individual. And if you got a sibling tested, their results may look a little different. My sister was tested and she had a whole other ethnicity group than I did. And so it's, it's, as you test other people in your family, you'll probably see a similar uh, pattern. And you commented that your father um, may be more mixed than you thought. So I would say get him tested and that will help you understand a little bit more about his family and so forth. And so as you get more uh, individuals in your family tested, you'll have a better picture of where your ancestors were 500 to 1,000 years ago, because that's the kind of the, ta the, the time stamp that's on your ethnicity results. So when you said, hey, um, this caucus region, where, where is that? And uh, how does that show up in my, in my ethnicity? Uh, results. Well, what it's saying is anywhere in the last 500 to 1,000, even 2,000 years ago, you had family mixing in that region who then carried their DNA from generation to generation, passed that DNA generation to generation, and now it's in you. Same with the Asian. Um, you were so surprised about the different Asian groups that you uh, showed up in your ethnicity estimate. And so click on those groups. You know, you can look in the the, the listing there and each individual group you can click on and then it's going to show you the map of that region and a lot more information of that specific group, the historical background. And you can start to play the game of, hey, you know, time frame, these are part of my ancestors, this is part of my legacy, part of my own story because the DNA shows up in me. And that's what makes this, this test so great. So. As you look at your DNA results, the African, you know, you had several groups uh, listed there. You're 73% African, several groups listed there, which is very exciting for me to see. Uh, commonly, you will see people who show up in an African population, they'll have three or four groups, and that's about average. And you had a few more than that. So your family was very diverse within that own region, and that's a part of your story. It's a part of your legacy that you're carrying inside of you, which uh, again, this just thrills me to, to see you respond to that and, and now you have, um, you know, opportunity to get other people tested and see what their unique mix is as well. And then don't forget about the matches. Like you said, um, hopefully you'll post another video about some of the matching uh, that you've had or that you're having and, you know, reach out to them because every, you know, just like your family has part of your story, other DNA cousins have another piece of the story and so reach out to them, contact them and together we can start filling in the, the gaps or the missing pieces of our own story. Um, but again, thank you Matt for sharing with us. It was very exciting to see your response on camera and hear the questions that you had and hopefully uh, us talking helps 
clarify some of the questions you did have. But if you have further questions, and anyone else who else is watching, if you have further questions, just feel free to leave a comment below and then we'll respond to them. All right, good luck. Thank you very much, Matt. Take care, bye.